Empire, 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 Empire. Can you play that again? Like, huh? Like, huh? Like, what? All right. So jumping right in, I received the wig from a company called Crown Barbie. They are actually Crown Barbie 29 on Instagram. I will definitely make sure that I leave all of her company's information down below. And when she DM me and said that she wanted to send me a wig, I was just like, okay, girl. Okay, bitch, I made it. <laughs> she is the girl that made the Cardi B bandana wig that went insanely viral on Instagram. And if y'all don't know that song, it's called Shake It. That is my ish. Like, huh? Like what? I actually did go to her website, crownbarbie.com, and she has a ton of wigs that she sells on the website. And something unique about her that I just want to show light to is the fact that she does make colorful wigs, but the way that she makes it to her niche is the fact that she paints on the wigs. So here is this super vibrant, colorful, Varasia Andrea, giving very much fairy rainbow vibes. Y'all know this is me, me this is, it's just what it is. It is. And then listen, let me show y'all something real quick. There is a pride painted slogan on it. It is just so unique. I actually shouted my girl out in my last colorful video where I painted Louis Vuitton prints on my wig. When I seen her do that bandana wig, it just gave me so much inspiration. And even when she DM me and asked me if she could send me a wig, uh, first of all, it's representing pride. If y'all didn't know, it is pride month. It is also Juneteenth. So not only did I wanted to make a video, obviously celebrating pride because I do one every single year. I was like, you know what? This video is just definitely going to be all black owned products, just shedding light to different companies, different tools, different hair products, different wigs, different everything that our black community does because we do all of it, all of it. Okay. So I'm definitely going to do some customization to this. I feel like the hair texture is very silky. I definitely have to go in and do like black ironing I do think that I want to cut it just a little bit shorter I am loving these colors I need to reach out to her and ask her what color she used for this because these are so bright on this hair I also am definitely going to go in and tint the lace and we are just going to do all this on camera because why not show y'all the sleigh from beginning to end so actually in the inside of the wig it is a t-part wig so I was thinking to myself that I wanted to do this in a side part but now that I know it is a T part I'm just going to definitely just do a classic middle part all right I'm gonna go ahead and customize this wig and then I will be back I went ahead and I straightened the wig off camera and I also just cut the ends just a little bit to make it look a lot more blunt and it looks so good. This like fuchsia pinkish red in the front is just absolutely given for me. The next thing I'm going to do is tint this lace and tint the knot so that it's not white especially on a darker skin tone. Every product that you guys are going to be seeing in the video is going to be from a black owned company. The first thing I'm going to go in with is going to be this Erica J dark brown lace hue. I don't know if she still sells her lace hues. I know I have been on her website within the past couple of weeks because I ordered some things and I didn't see the lace hue. But let me take this off and I'm just going to tint the lace. Say that again. Anyways, I'm 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 Anyways, I'm so I'm seeing that this lace is a little bit more on the stronger side and that is no problem. I'm going to take some lace lace. <laughs> I want to take some liquid foundation. This is going to be a lot stronger and just turn in my complexion a lot easier. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand to make sure I have a good amount of product on. And now let's see if this is going to work. 
Okay, so we need to cut this down. I'm just gonna cut this lace as close as possible to the front because it's no point in like leaving a super amount of lace in the front because we don't need to do that. Now I'm going to take some face powder and go along the parting space and I might get some mascara too, but I'll just see what this looks like after I go ahead and do this. And then the last thing, there are just some oopsie spots on the hairline where I can see she didn't want to get too close to the lace to stain it, but that's fine. It's an easy fix. I'm just going to take an eyeliner, just line that up with my parting to just camouflage those whoopsie daisy areas. You're gonna have to go back in with my flat iron, but I am loving this, y'all. The last step is gonna be me installing the wig. I'm gonna be using the new Better Than Glue holding spray. This is a new holding spray that is not new to me using at all. I have used this when she first had the prototype. I had went to the launch of EAP Heat X Mingly, and she let me try it out then. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now that a Event was so humid in that area. I am so shocked that my wig did not fall off because that's how much I was sweating. And this spray was the only thing that was used that day and my wig didn't budge at all. I already know exactly how this holding spray is. I'm just so happy my girl out finally launched it. Mingli is my girl, if y'all did not know. And she is a black owned business owner. She has Snob Life. She has her own salon in Atlanta. She did a collab with AP Heat. I can go on and on and on about my girl Ming Lee, but let's get into installing it with this spray. I'm just gonna do like how I always do, start in sections. I'm gonna spray and concentrate in this section. And then I'm just gonna do this side, this side, come back when I am all laid in the sleeve. I'm gonna be so can you want capture my soul? I'm a game of soul. Make you want more and more. Better, 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 better. I'm loose. Todd, can you play that again? I'm in Josie. 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 Let me explain something to y'all real quick. This, this, this. Ever since I first tried this the first time last year, I'm like, girl, you have something good on your hands because it's just so different. First of all, it smells like watermelon. This alcohol, this alcohol. Now, don't be going sniffing aerosol cans. That is not what type of time we are on right now. But the fact that she just made this smell like something decent, something good, something delicious, and not something like freaking alcohol. Listen, this is why I'm proud to be a black woman because women of color is just so creative, so artistic. This is what I live for. Yes. Let me show y'all real quick, okay? I already told y'all I use this holding spray already. Even with human Humidity, girl, this is not moving. Y'all are gonna see this. I'm gonna start just using it a lot more in my videos. It says Ming Lee approved. It's already Andrea approved, okay, period. I might go in with some plucking. Actually, I am gonna go in with some plucking and I'm gonna pluck the front of this hairline. Let me see if I can work my magic real quick on this tweezing to make it look 
a lot more believable. Know you see what you used to. Know exactly what you used to. Know you probably work what I'm used to. I don't let you what you're supposed to. Last time we followed it was all night. Now you got me thinking about your own night. Me and you, see now you be all right. This is the final look. What y'all think? Is it not giving Lorraine Andrea? She just point blank period nailed this freaking wig. Point blank period. It's just so many things that I want to talk about with this video, okay? Number one, the fact that I had tried out the new Better Than Glue holding spray. Hands down, best thing ever ming you did your thing i love the fact that it smells like watermelon this hold like i said the holding spray is holding okay the lace on this wig point blank period i feel like i killed it these colors on this wig is everything alicia honey girl Okay, it is given, it's given very much Laurasia Andrea. I am all for the bold colors. Y'all already know that about my channel. It's a bright colored wig, obviously, but it still is giving that more naturalist type of look and I love that. But y'all, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much to Alicia for sending in, sending, what the fuck, Alicia? <laughs> Thank you so much, Alicia Michelle, for sending me this wig. You absolutely killed it, girl. I will definitely just make sure I link her website down below in her IG. So make sure you guys go and check her out. Also, make sure you guys go and get this holding spray. Mingly killed it. She absolutely freaking killed this snob life. It's just absolutely a bomb ass black owned brand. You need to be going out and supporting these black businesses. And as always, thank you you guys so much for watching can't wait to see you guys in my next one bye guys wait wait take that don't